all in in 30 minutes. Today is Friday, so I like to use hand weights. So if you don't have hand weights, don't worry. You can just run over to the kitchen and grab a couple of cans of soup, or maybe you've got some beans of some kind. And uh, if it's a big can, you have to make sure that you can still hold it in your hands. The cans are optional, hand weights are optional, but the hand weights are to enhance the exercise, to draw awareness to your posture. I have to fix my tag. All right, here's the official welcome. Thank you for coming and let's get started. My name is Vivian and this is a 30 minute short and snappy Pilates mat class. It's at a broad intermediate level. There'll be some nice introductions, introductory beginner level exercises that we will build like a scaffolding, scaffold to the higher levels. Hand weights are optional. Begin with a breathing warm up. Sit nice and tall. Start to draw awareness inward to your own body, your own skeleton, including the bones of your butt, the inhalation to the diaphragm, which inflates wide. As you're exhaling, close the ribs down. It's this, this could be a deep meditative breath. Inhaling, and as you exhale, so I've got one hand weight and I'm going to lift it with an underhand lift, underhand. Inhale, lean to the side, and begin to stretch. You're going to feel the weight, the magnification of the stretch, and then return upright. Repeat, as you reach out, careful, and then come over and stretch, exhale. Notice how it feels like you can go a little farther? Just make sure that you're moving carefully and mindfully. As you come over, your hand is lightly supporting you on the floor. Twist now. When you rotate, place the hand weight on the floor so that both hands are literally grounded. Rotate and turn and keep turning farther and farther. Rotate. Inhale, untwist and careful how you lift your weight and then return to the upright position. Plant the weight down, have your second hand weight handy. It's an underhand grip. Inhale, lean to the side and exhale. Careful here, if you haven't done this in a while, it's a really severe or immediate stretch. Here we go again, lifting, stay lifted, keep your butt grounded, and bend sideways. Go as far as you can here, and then return. Begin this last one in the same way, lifting, and when exhaling, rotate. I've got hands, both hands, on the floor. Push into the floor and keep twisting, rotation, rotation, rotation. On the inhale, untwist. Careful how you lift that weight. Now, when you bring the weight behind you, you're going to hold on to the end. I've got this end and this end, holding on to one dumbbell. Inhale. As you exhale, straighten the arms in an effort to open the chest. And the repeat. Shoulders forward, inhale. Use a powerful, strong exhalation and the arms go straight. Expand the chest. Once more, inhale. Using your exhale, shoulders rolling back and stay lifted. Nod your head, head only, chin down. You can bob your head to the left, bob your head to the right while keeping your arms nice and straight. Now let go of the weight on the floor, let it go. The arms will float, inhale. Remain very lifted and elongated as you tilt, leaning forward. In other words, don't bend, reaching to me. Reach out and above your camera, and then come back and release. We're going to repeat that same exercise, but I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit. Straighten out your legs, please. Straighten out your legs, and face the end of the mat. And face the end of the mat. I'm gonna turn this way. Straighten out your legs, please, and face the end of the mat. My hand weights are here to the side of me, which I'll grab on my second one here. Inhale. Come forward, reaching out. This is that flat back that we just did earlier. Melt all the way down to the floor. All the way down means even the elbows are resting. The head and the neck also rest. Have a moment where you're rocking the body from one hip to the other. Loosen the clothing, sometimes it's sticky and stuck on the mat. Let go of your head. Now, arms, reach forward with your arms. Lift the arms, now lift your head. Here's that flat back tilt when you arrive upright. 
Let's begin with our knees bent and we'll start with three regular roll down, roll ups. As you exhale, rolling backward. Inhale and use the power of your deep exhalation to roll up. Sit up straight, we'll do one more. Find the deep, low abdominals, the seat belt abs. <clears throat> Inhale. As you exhale, if you've been having some difficulty, you're going to find this to be very delightful. Hold on to your hand weights, arms extended, and gauge how slowly you can move. The arms come up, inhale. Raise your arms, your head, your shoulders, and rolling up, come to seated. Wasn't that delightful? Coming back, maintain the length in your arms, the crunch in the abdomen, and the slow pace. Mindful, careful here, of your rotator cuff. Lifting, use the shoulder muscles, then your deep abdominal muscles, and straighten out your legs. Sit up straight. Same, roll down, roll up. Notice the legs are heavy, very straight. Arms come back. Take care of your arms and shoulders at the rotator cuff. Lift those arms. This time, reach out over your legs. You're going to put the weights down at the farthest, farthest point that your arms can reach. Lower your head for a moment. <clears throat> Coming back, begin to come back and drag your weights with you, and then pick up the weights near the end. Inhale, mindful of your rotator cuffs. Exhale, roll up. This time, sit up straight, reaching for the ceiling above. As you exhale, scoop the abdominals and come halfway and stop. Lower the shoulders and round out the arms. Now when you turn to face me, one arm is opening. Return to center like you're hugging a tree. Rotate to the other side. Return, hugging the tree. Once more, as you rotate, keep the chest open and inhale through the center, other side. As you exhale, at center, begin going backwards. Maintain those long, straight, heavy legs. Inhale. As you exhale, arms lifting and reach over your legs. Keep your abdominals scooped. Reach over your legs. Put the weights down if necessary and keep moving. Come on back. Stay scooped and hollowed. Come halfway and just stop right there. Hug arms. I'm rotating away. Rotate. Inhale through the center. Other side. Exhale. Rotate. And inhale center. Here we go again. Exhale. And center. Here's the last one as you exhale. At center, backwards we go. Very straight legs. Inhale. This time, listen, roll up and kick one leg. You can keep it bent or you can keep it straight. Come on back, take your time. One vertebrae, one vertebrae. Put your leg down, mindful of your rotator cuff here. Exhale, roll up, leg number two. You can keep it straight or you can keep it bent. Come on back, scoop the abdominals, take your time. Both knees bent, both feet flat and close your legs. Inhale with arms. Exhale, roll up, and both legs oof, have arrived. Continue backward, the feet stay up. Careful of the hand weights, inhale. Roll up, oof. You might discover it's a little easier. Rounding back, oh, be grateful. Here we go, last one, roll up. When we go into the hundreds, you will put the weights down. Place your ribs on the floor, but not your head. Put the weights down, pump the arms. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. Inhale, three, four, five. <laughs> Breathe in. Four. Five, two, three, four, five. Straighten one leg. Six, two, three, four, five. Switching legs. Seven, two, three, four, five, alternate legs. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Ten, legs straight, exhale, three, four, five, and rest. Nicely done. 
When your head is down, immediately turn the head from side to side. Release the tension at your neck. Mm. The next exercise might be a little tricky. The hand weight might stay behind your knee, or it might not. So be careful. If you're using um, a can of soup, that might also be very difficult. I am going to do one leg at a time. So if you're not doing hand weights, this is essentially the exercise. Heel tap, and heel tap, and heel tap. But insist on doing it slowly and slowly. I have to keep my knees bent enough to secure the hand weight. Continue. Oof. Oof. Raise the arms up and in a very pedestrian or natural movement pattern, the arms are moving with the legs. Natural. Imagine you're like a little robot with short legs. You know, well, certainly not R2-D2 because he didn't have any legs, but if you were walking like a robot. Your spine, by the way, is in neutral. So there is, there is, honor that little tiny lift in your low back. So I got four more. Here's my last two and last one. Return knees up and then remove the hand weights. Hug the knees back into your chest. Make sure that your low back is really flat, relaxed, and your tail is curled up, coiled up like a, oh, I don't know, a shrimp tail. All right, straighten one leg out in front of you and lift your head in the highest position. When you switch legs, you can see better that this is my left leg, left hand, outside left ankle. Switch right knee, right hand, outside right ankle. Switch, breathe in, switch, blow out. Switch, breathe in, switch, blow out. The breathing is an integral part of this exercise. Keeping your head up and keeping your abdominals scooped. That's what makes Pilates special. All of the little details. Attention to detail, straight leg. Point your feet, head up high. Continue breathing, focus, centering, precision, flow, concentration. Hands behind your head, enough lecture. Twist, twist, rotate. This exercise is called crisscross. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, rest. Now, while we could just be resting here for a long period of time, instead, let's use rolling like a ball. So hands behind your thigh, give the legs a little extra kick, and here we go. Roll back and forth. This is the introductory level when the hands are behind your thigh. The more standard variation, hands at the base of your ankles. Inhale. <sighs> Keeping your eyes closed is more challenging. Inhale. Let's just do two more. Inhale. And here's the last one. When you arrive, test your balance. Test straighten one leg, return. Test straighten the other leg, and then actually straightening both legs. Open and close a few times. Keep your head nice and level, and imagine your head is just floating on your neck. Don't be too stiff. Here's the last one. My legs are up, my arms reach, my arms are up, my arms are open, forward arms, and lower your legs down. Let's go to the face down category now. As we come to face down, you'll want both of your hand weights, one on each side. Plant yourself down and have each hand weight on one right and one left. Begin with your elbows down on the floor and lift and lower a few times. It's important to gain that mobility in the low back. Lift. Move at your own pace. Lift. If we have met, you know I'm not very tall, so my back is not very long. Here we go again. Lift. And lift. Here's the last one. Holding yourself in a nice high position, stay there. Support yourself on one elbow, one. Reach back and grab the ankle of the other. Continue to stretch and try to stay lifted. 
if this is becoming impossible, too difficult, it's just too much today, you can put your head down. In either case, focus on stretching, stretching. How about some stretching and length, length, lengthen? Ugh, lengthening and stretching. Mm. So now I'm going to switch, staying in the high position and holding on. Oh, this is really challenging. Lift. Woo! -hoo. And down. I want to do the exercise called double leg kick, and we're going to stay, um, let's come down. In double leg kick, legs down, kick, kick, and straighten. Each time, kick, kick, and straighten. We go kick, kick, straight. Just one more. Kick, kick, straight. Now you can rest your legs. This exercise is much more challenging when you've got hand weights now, there's ways to do this with two hand weights, but I am going to do it with just one. I'm holding one hand weight using both hands, holding on to the ends. Hold on to the ends. You'll need to move your arms out of the way for your kick, kick. Straightening the legs while straightening the arms. In slow motion, elbows are bent while knees bend. Arms are straight when legs straighten, repeat, kick, kick, stretch, again, kick, kick, stretch, again, kick, kick, stretch, Woo. kick, kick, stretch. Stay right there and flutter the legs. Now while you're thinking about legs, 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 also lift, 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 lift through the chest. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, exhale, drop the weight as soon as you can. Hands and knees, push up and sit back. As you sit back, oh, allow your back to round out as much as you can. You could rest your head all the way down and wrap your arms around your legs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now the next exercise is a little bit challenging, so I hope you're up for this. I am going to include the hand weight, and I need just a little extra padding here for my hands. Once I get my hands relatively comfortable, I'll be placing one hand weight behind the knee, right behind the knee, like we did before. Be sure that you're able to maintain your posture and position, solid and stationary in the upper body. The leg is going to stay bent, stay bent. The knee is bent as you lift and lift and lift the leg. Now, I've got really tight hip flexors so my leg won't go up any higher without me sacrificing my form. So, I am gonna stay as squared off here in the front section of the body and the back section, my hips, I know, are rotating a little bit. Forgive me. Four more, three more, two, then hold the opposing arm. When you bring the knee underneath, elbow the knee, straighten the arm. Here's and straight, and straight and straight. Listen closely. When you remove the weight, don't lower the leg. Don't touch the leg down. Straighten the leg and come to your forearm, head low, leg high, high, high. Clench the buttocks each time. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two. Then you can reach back, grab the foot low, and raise the leg high, Ooh. and then come down. Set yourself up so that your second leg is ready with the hand weight. Secure the weight. Have your body weight stationary and secured here in the front, and the leg lift begins. Lift, lift. Maurice Johnson, hey! Lift, lift. Send me a wave, a thumbs up, something. Lift. So we're doing just a few more with the hand weight. The upper body is squared off and stationary. My lower body, my pelvis is slightly tilted, I know. We'll do a few more. 
How about four, three, two, pause, and straighten the arm. Remember, you're elbowing the knee, so round the back if necessary. And straighten. And straight. And straight. And straight. Last one here. Now you will remove the weight, don't drop the leg. Come down to your forearm and keep your leg nice and straight, flexed ankle. Lift again, lift, lift, lift. Really maximize the effort there at your gluteus maximus. Just three more, two, hold it up and then reach back with the opposite hand. Hold on to the foot wherever you can grab it and then raise your leg. Oh. Now, as I sit back, I'm bringing one leg in front so I can slide back into pigeon stretch. Slide back into pigeon stretch, and we'll continue with a few more stretches through the hips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ooh. A little rolling, a little jostling. You can feel your thigh bone sort of cajoling in the hip socket. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Coming up onto your hands high if you can and that will accentuate the stretch here through the front at your hip flexors. Remain tall. Now when I switch legs, I have to send this leg backward so it's going back and the other leg is coming forward. Once you settle your weight down, come onto your forearms. Breathe. I do a little gentle rocking from side to side. I can feel the thigh bone and the hip socket, all of what's happening through here, ooh, ah, ooh, affected. Oh man, as I rise up onto my hands, you decide how far away or how close, but in either case, you gotta come out of your shell. So lift like a very curious turtle with a long neck. Keep the hip heavy and the back leg is straight, and man, oh man, do I feel the stretch. Are you breathing? Mm, 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 mm. As I come back, ugh, I'm on to all fours, hands, hands, and knees, knees. We'll sneak in a quick cat cow back stretch. Quick cat cow back stretch. We did some terrific back exercises already, and now I want to come back up onto the knees. My knees are open. Placing your hands near the backs of your hips or the low back, push the pelvis forward, open across the chest. Take your time. You might inhale and then return upright or recover. And then repeat. Inhale and then come forward and vertical. We'll do it again. I realize you can't see my head. Here is the more exaggerated version. I'm gonna open my knees just a little bit wider and I can have my toes down, which lifts my heels up. I'm winding one arm backward onto the heel. I'm winding the second arm backward onto the heel. And I'm able to support my body weight and push the pelvis forward while also expanding the chest. Stay really mindful, but don't stay too long. Ah. I'm recovering, arm front, arm front. It's time for push-ups, are you ready? We're going to do 12, and if you're doing them on your knees, you might fold the mat. If you're doing them on your knees, you can fold your mat. I'm gonna to try to do them with straight legs, but lately I've been feeling like a slug. So here is one leg, four push-ups. One, two, three, and four. I'll switch legs and fix this mat. Second leg, and we're going. One, two, three, and four. Finally, on two feet or both knees, you can also go wide stance, your choice. Here is one, two, three, and four. Push back into your downward dog and be sure to splay your hands and fingers nice and wide. I make a minor adjustment with my legs and concentrate now just one leg getting the benefit of this downward dog position. One leg, very straight and very heavy. 
Switching legs so you can be equally mindful, equally attentive to this second leg. Push heavy into the leg while also sinking your head, sink your head heavy between your arms. Both legs now equal, equal forces, parallel feet and legs. Push the floor away. Step back onto your hands and all the way back onto your feet, I'm stepping back. Have a moment where you're looking at your feet and maybe, maybe make the V, Pilates V with your feet. Hold on to your elbows and swing your shoulders, arms, and head side to side. Mm, mm, mm. You can place your hands on your shinny shin shins and take your time walking up the leg. Come up to standing, take your time. Slowly stacking, stacking, stacking each vertebrae and be the tallest version of yourself. I'm so tall, I'm out of the picture. <laughs> Come on down and so we can regroup and finish up nice and tall. Sit tall on those butt bones, keep yourself vertical. I learned an important exercise the other day that helps to improve posture and helps to mitigate this feeling like our head is hanging lower and lower as we play with our devices. <laughs> so sit up straight. If I turn sideways, you can see better. My head will thrust forward pull back, thrust forward and pull back. And while it's easy to make fun of the exercise and cluck around with your head poking forward, that's not where the benefit comes from. The benefit comes from the pull. So it's sometimes called a chin tuck. Pull your head back, pull your head back. It would be sort of akin to if you were trying to push the airline seat back, you know how you're a little bit short and the seat comes all the way up to here and you've got that knob, you're on the Southwest Airlines and you're, you're thinking, well, why won't this seat go back? And you're trying to start that with your head. Pull your head back. Nod your chin down. I promise those exercises will help strengthen your neck and will help improve your posture. Ultimately, strengthening the neck muscles will keep your head up and it'll mitigate all of this that we find ourselves doing daily during these times of quarantine and the pandemic. So keep your head up, keep your chest open, and take a deep breath with me, inhaling. And as you exhale, and this will conclude your class, your short and snappy Pilates class for Friday, the first Friday of August. I don't know what it is, the seventh, I think. Thanks for joining me. I've got tons and tons of classes that are available on my YouTube channel, which is called Fit with Viv. Fit with Viv. All scrunched together like it's one word. Fit with Viv on YouTube. I'll see you again soon. I'll be back here on Tuesday at 11.30. Tuesday at 11.30, no hand weights. Friday, hand weights. Thanks for being here. Thanks. <laughs>